I wanted to um, <clears throat> do a little video right quick for the folks that subscribed. Um, this page right here that you're looking at is one of the lottery sites that is good. Um, I'll blow it up for you right quick. This right here shows you all. This is the sums. Like uh, the sum right here is three. See all these numbers right here equal three. All these numbers equal four. All these numbers equal five and six and so on. You know. So, you know, there's only a few numbers that equal four or three. You know what I'm saying? Really good numbers to choose because if it's only two numbers, or you know, etc. But the probability of the sum being drawn, as you can tell, is you know zero, and you know what I'm saying it's like eighty-three percent, something like that. That's nothing. Um, but when you go down to the middle where the numbers get a little higher, where you start to see the numbers that usually fall around, let's just say, how many times have this sum came? You know, some of these, you know, this is really not, um, you know, my states, but, you know, you could definitely still use it as, you know, uh, to see what numbers fall for that sum instead of having to count them up all the time you can just already know you want to play a sum of 14 so you can search through these numbers right here you know you can do a screenshot of all these numbers uh, I'm going to try to give you or you can just go to the site uh, Lotto for you that's a, a good site to go to. Uh, it has a pick three chart too, and um, it gives you more of a breakdown and highlight stuff for you. Um, this is a real good chart to use right here because this, you you, you definitely uh, could hit playing these numbers here in the green. You know, the numbers in the green are real good, but I would still try to break it down. A little bit more <clears throat> and uh, let's just say here go this row right here you know it's a lot of numbers with a zero in it zero three seven zero four seven zero five seven zero six seven you know that right there I would probably play these zero to the seven you know and and just hope one of them come out you know or the zero six all the way to the zero right here you know that could help you know if you already know you want to play or you plan 14 you want to play the numbers you just got to use it the way you want to use it pretty much uh, it gives you another a little uh, chart right here on the numbers that came or whatever um, now what I usually do though when I see a double number in the in the drawing you know, or a number that is, you know, like, like 495, if I see that come, I usually play a 1 or something after that or a 0. You know, if the numbers add up together to get the right number, you know what I'm saying, like right here. Like with the 535, five, I just added the 5 and 3 twice and got two eighths, And then I just kept one of the 5s, you know. I would guess that's how it would work, you know what I'm saying, as you can tell, 885, boom, you know, 535, 885, so remember that, when you see something like that right there, then play it, play it like that, and just see what happens, you know, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, or like let's just say right here with this, seven three three all right now you can get two fours and you got two threes right here so that's kind of adding it up too seven and three is four seven and three is four so you get two fours add it together you got eight three and three is six and three and three is zero 
086. You see how the double numbers kind of come like that? But they don't always come. Like these right here, these two, these are good numbers to do because they're not, I ain't going to say that they're kind of separated. You know what I'm saying? Um, 464. I would say a 2 will be coming soon. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you really can't judge off of the, 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 the even like that. You know, right here with the 119, uh, you see the 8, 0, you got the 8 and the 0. How did you get the 5? Don't know. Um, that's about it. Oh, yeah, 747. You got the 7s again. Well, you know, that's just how I would break it down on some of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it don't always work, but sometimes it do work. So just keep that in mind when you are doing your numbers. And remember this number right here, the 550 came. After that, <clears throat> it was 013. Okay, this is the X, and the X right here is a zero. For some reason, it wouldn't show on my damn computer, so I just put X's right there. And then it was an X, one zero, or one oh X. I mean, one oh three. That's what it came. One oh three was after five five zero. And that went from. It had to touch the zero, which was the X's, and the eight and seven. So the zero touches that seven and the eight. Boom, three and one right here. Well, it seems easy now, but it's kind of hard because you got to know. Or you can just play all the numbers that you see. I didn't like doing this XX shit right here, but I had to do it to remember what it was doing. I think I played zero. I played zero one two. I played one uh, three one five. I played five one zero. Played nine one five. Yeah, played all that, but I didn't play three one zero. So let's just go. Oh.